Now, let's talk about what happens when America tries to use export controls to stop technological progress, shall we? Spoiler alert, it works, it works exactly as well as uh, Prohibition, the war on drugs, and that time your parents told you not to watch R-rated movies in the basement while, you know, drinking Hunch Punch or Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill. Oh, glad those days are over. The U.S. government banned exports of advanced AI chips to China. The logic was simple. If we don't give them the hardware, they can't build competitive AI. Solid plan, one problem. It assumes China gives a shit about American rules. According to a new report, Chinese AI startup DeepSeek, which has been building world-class models that compete with OpenAI on a fraction of the budget, allegedly got their hands on NVIDIA's Blackwell chips. You know, the ones that are explicitly banned from export to China. <laughs> How'd they do it? Through what investigators are calling a phantom data center scheme that sounds like it was cooked up by someone who watched Ocean's Eleven too many times and thought, I could do that, but, you know, with semicon semiconductors and better casting. Here's how it works. Step one, set up a legitimate data center in a country where NVIDIA chips are legal. Somewhere like Singapore, for example. Anywhere where, uh, you know, that has lax oversight and a national hobby of looking the other way when large amounts of uh, cash appears. Step two, order a buttload of Blackwell chips. Everything's legal. Invoices stamped. Customs cleared. Just a normal business doing normal business things. Step three, wait for the chips to arrive and get installed in the servers. Just in case they're checked. Then dismantle the servers in step number four, just in case you're writing this down. Carefully remove the chips. Pack them in a suitcase like you're a drug mule, except your product is legal in most countries and worth more per ounce than cocaine. Step five, fly to China with your luggage that contains tens of millions of dollars in banned semiconductors and your American copy of Librarians Gone Wild. Step six, reassemble everything in China. Fire up the data center, train your models, hide the magazine in your desk. Step seven, hold a press conference announcing you built world-class AI using efficient engineering and clever optimization. It's freaking brilliant. It's also exactly what happens every time a government tries to ban something valuable. 